Hey everyone, Chef Jason Hill here, and I am really excited because I'm going to be going down to my friend's house and we're gonna be cooking pizzas on this thing called the Big Green Egg. Uh, maybe some of you have seen these. Uh, I've never cooked on one. We're gonna be doing a bunch of different pizzas, so I've gotta make the pizza dough before we go down there. And this is a real easy recipe. It just takes a little time because it has to rise, so uh, let me show you how I do it. I have a large mixing bowl filled with seven and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We're gonna whisk in four teaspoons of fine sea salt. I didn't have fine sea salt, so I had to mash mine up to make it nice and fine. Let's whisk that in. Now we are gonna add a half a teaspoon of active dry yeast. Whisk that around. Now I'm gonna take a wooden spoon, or if you have a rubber spatula, and we're gonna slowly pour in three cups of room temperature water. And form a somewhat of a ball. Just try and push it all together as best you can. There we go. I'm gonna place this into a clean bowl. I'm gonna cover this with plastic wrap and we're gonna let this sit at room temperature which is ideally 72 degrees Fahrenheit. So just somewhere in your kitchen on the counter where there's preferably no draft. This will sit for maybe 18 hours or until it doubles in size and is covered in bubbles. So we'll check it tomorrow. Okay, after 18 hours, check it out. It's doubled in size. All right, look at that. Not too many bubbles, but definitely doubled in size and now we're ready to break it up all right I've got my clean work surface here I'm gonna put a little bit of flour onto the surface next I'm gonna lay our dough out and I'm just gonna try and form this into a rectangle So now I'm just going to cut this into six individual portions. It doesn't have to be totally equal, some could be a little bigger. Okay, and from there, I just like to take the corners of each square to the center, turn it over, and just form it into a ball. A little more flour on there. And continue doing this with the rest of your pieces. This one's a little smaller, but that's okay. He could be the little mini pizza. If you're planning on making the pizza right away, you gotta let this sit covered in plastic wrap for one hour before you shape it into your crust. Okay, now we're just gonna wrap each one of these individually in some plastic wrap. Okay, after I've wrapped these up, I can actually store these in the refrigerator for two to three days. If you do that, before you form your pizza crust, you're gonna wanna unwrap them, set them on a floured work surface, cover them loosely with plastic for two to three hours before you shape your pizza. There you go.